like a child who trusts his father dear and who delights to feel his presence here just like a child whose mind has no In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. A very good morning to you, my dear brothers and sisters. Indeed, we are very glad to have Reverend Father Pravin Vegas with us. This is a very special day for us. As our beloved Pope Francis announced today, that is Thursday, 14th of May, 2020, a remarkable day for us to pray for entire world with other faith people. For Francis announced this very special day of prayer, fasting, and good works to end these trying times, COVID-19. As we are celebrating this Holy Eucharist, inviting you all, my dear brothers and sisters, Dedicate yourself to pray on this very special day in a particular way, remembering entire world, people who are suffering from this virus, people who have been infected, people who are serving such people, people who are in front lines, people who are giving us the protection, people like police forces, and people who are risking their lives to safeguard many other lives. In a particular way, we need to remember and pray the scientists, that the Lord may inspire all the scientists that we may have medicine for this virus, joining with all the faith people, we pray for the entire world. Whenever it's possible on this day, my dear brothers and sisters, spend much time in prayer. If possible, maybe fasting also. Yes, my dear brothers and sisters, as we are in this Holy Eucharist. Let us continually pray for this intention. After this Mass, we will also have two talks by Father Isaac as well as by Father Jitu. And after their talks, we will have about an half an hour adoration welcoming you all for this day of prayer, fasting, and good works. Let us be united with our Holy Father, 
with entire world. Let us pray for the intentions of the Holy Father. The Holy Father has declared this day as the day of prayer and fast in order to implore God's mercy upon the suffering humanity. As we know, today, the humanity is confused. Humanity is suffering due to coronavirus. As Jesus invites us to keep up his commandments and to love him, let us learn to love Jesus and to love our fellow brothers and sisters, especially those who are downtrodden. To celebrate these sacred mysteries worthily, let us call to mind our sins and seek God's mercy and forgiveness. You were sent to heal the contrite. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. May he forgive us our sins and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. O God, by whose grace Though sinners we are made just, and though pitiable made blessed, stand we pray by your works, stand by your gifts, that those justified by faith may not lack the courage of perseverance. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The first reading, a reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After the discussion had gone on a long time, Peter stood up and addressed the apostles and elders. My brothers, he said, you know perfectly well that in the early days God made his choice among you. The pagans were to learn the good news from me and so become believers. In fact, God, who can read everyone's heart, showed his approval of them by giving the Holy Spirit to them just as he had to us. God made no, no distinction between them and us. Since he purified their hearts by faith, it would only provoke God's anger now. Surely, if you imposed on the disciples the very burden that neither we nor our ancestors were strong enough to support Remember, we believe that we are saved in the same way as they are, through the grace of the Lord Jesus. This silenced entire assembly, and they listened to Barnabas and Paul describing all the signs and wonders God had worked through them among the pagans. When they had finished it, was James who spoke, My brothers, 
he said, Listen to me. Simeon has described how God first arranged to enlist a people for his name out of the pagans. This is entirely in harmony with the words of the prophets, since the scriptures say, After that I shall return and rebuild the fallen house of David, I shall rebuild it from its ruins and restore it. Then the rest of the mankind, all the pagans who are consecrated to my name, will look for the Lord. Says the Lord who made this known so long ago. I rule then that instead of making things more difficult for pagans who turn to God, we send them a letter telling them merely to abstain from anything polluted by idols, from fornication, from the meat of strangled animals, and from blood. For Moses has always had his preachers in very town and is read aloud in the synagogues every Sabbath. The word of the Lord, our response, hallelujah. Sing a new song to the Lord. Sing to the Lord all the earth. O sing to the Lord, bless his name. Our response, hallelujah. hallelujah. Proclaim his help day by day. Tell among the nations his glory and his wonders among all the peoples. Our response, hallelujah. Proclaim the nations, God is king. The world he made firm in its place. He will judge the peoples in fairness. Our response, hallelujah. hallelujah. Gospel acclamation. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Christ has risen. He who consecrated all things and has granted is mercy to men. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, As the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. Remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love, just as I have kept the commandments, and remain in his love. I have told you this, so that my own joy may be in you, and your joy be complete. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friends, love is the greatest gift on the face of this earth. We may have everything. We may have wealth, money, possessions, name, fame, and degrees. But if we do not have love, and if we are not loved, then we are surely among the poorest on this earth. 
Jesus invites us to keep his commandments. He invites us to love him. And in turn, our Father in heaven will love us. To keep the commandments of Jesus and to love Jesus means to listen to his teachings and to follow him closely. Jesus knows us closely. Today, as our Holy Father exhorts us to pray and fast and to reach out the victims of coronavirus, we need to keep in mind that just as Jesus has loved us and just as Father has loved us, we too need to love and reach out these people. May Jesus be our strength and courage. May Jesus help us to love and reach out to the suffering humanity. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and the work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the wine and the work of human hands for it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord, wash my sins from iniquity and cleanse me from all my sins. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. and the good of all his holy church. O God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice have made us partakers of the supreme Godhead, grant we pray that as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life. Through Christ our Lord, Amen. the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed for with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed, and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim, Holy, 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 Holy Lord, Lord, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of, full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in the, the highest. Blessed, Blessed is he who comes in the name, in the name of, the of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in, in the, the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts. We pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. 
my God and my Lord. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the nif and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. My Lord and my God. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, Godfrey and Stanislaus our bishops and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit with co as to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by his divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who set your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. May this mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who receive it. Lamb of God, you, you take away the sins, the sins of, the world. of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. May the receiving of your body and blood, Lord Jesus Christ, not bring me to judgment and condemnation, but through your loving mercy, be for me protection in mind and body and a healing remedy. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. 
Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life. Through Christ the Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the blessings of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come upon you and remain with you forever and ever. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.